Hi, in this video we're going to work out this integral. We have x times x plus a times x plus b, and it's with respect to x. This is an exercise from an old book I have. The book is called Integral Calculus, and it was published a long time ago in 1917, and the author is H.B. Phillips. And I'll actually show you the exercise in the book. It's number seven on page five. And this is a really good book because it has solutions to all of the problems in the back of the book as answers. So this one's interesting because you think you can make some type of substitution, but I'm not really seeing one. So let's just go ahead and distribute. So we have the X and we'll just multiply this times this. That'll give us X squared. And then this times this, that's XB. And then A times X is a times x, and then a times b is a times b. So basically just distributing, um, you know, multiplying these two terms out. So x times x, boom, x times b, a times x, a times b. Okay, so now we can distribute the x. So x times x squared is x cubed, plus x times xb is x squared b, plus x times ax is x squared a, plus x times ab is x times ab dx. I don't know why I put the constants <laughs> in the back of the variables there. You, you, typically you put them in the front. I, I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, now let's integrate. So when you integrate, you basically use the power rule. So you just add one to each of the exponents and then you divide by the result. So this will be x to the four over four plus, I'm gonna put the b in the front this time b times x cubed over three plus a times x cubed over three plus a b times x squared over two and plus our constant c. And just to make it look a little bit better, I'm gonna write this as follows. I'm gonna put all the constants out front. So 1 fourth x to the fourth plus b over three x cubed plus a over three, x cubed plus a b over two, x squared plus c. And that should be the answer. I'm going to check the answer because I actually have it here. So this was uh, number seven in the book. And um, I'm just gonna check it. I'm just gonna compare it to this one. Um, yeah, it looks like the only thing they did here is they combined these two terms. I see, interesting. So they, they took it, or he, H.B. Phillips took it a step further. And so what he did here was, let me show you. Interesting, that's one of the nice things about having the answers. You know, I just wasn't really thinking here. He did this, one third x cubed, a plus b. He wrote it some, something like that. He put the a plus b in the front. So he actually wrote it like this, a plus b x cubed, and then ab over 2, x squared plus c. Yeah, that's what uh, Phillips does in uh, his solution. So interesting problem. It's pretty random. Um, just working out problems from an old book. Thought I would put this on film, as they say. And uh, yeah, maybe you'll learn something, maybe not. But hopefully you learn something from this video. I think it's interesting that you do have to multiply, though. That's a little bit different. It's not a problem you typically see in like modern books. I've never seen this actual problem in a modern book. Good luck.